Hey guys, it's me Sean Karbanda. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to convert PDF files into Microsoft Word files without using any sort of online converter. Now, this is one of the most common questions that people have on the internet. How to convert PDF files to Microsoft Word files. And let me just show you what I mean. Alright guys, so I'll be showing you guys how popular of a search is that how to convert PDF files to Microsoft Word files. So here I have my web browser open here. I'm going to go to Google and simply type convert. As you can see, the first suggested result is convert PDF to Word. I'm going to click on it. And I can see a various amount of online converters. Well, now you might be thinking that I'm going to choose one of these online converters here. But if you're thinking that, then you're wrong. Because all of these either do not work entirely or have some problem and they're not good. So we're not going to use any of them. Instead, I'm going to bring a free solution which works fast. Now that you've seen how common of a question this is and how many online converters there are, let me just tell you the one thing that most people do not know. All the Microsoft Word applications starting from 2013 and coming forward already have a pre-built-in PDF converter, which is completely free, and hence you don't have to go wasting time on finding an online converter on the internet. Sometimes the online converters do not work entirely or don't work properly, and sometimes they are paid. But this pre-built-in PDF converter in Microsoft Word is free! Now before we get started, subscribe to my channel for all the best tech tips out there. Press the notifications bell so you know when I release my next video. Drop a like and share this video with friends and family as it sells me out a lot. Also, feel free to comment down below any questions that you have about this video or any other tech topic and I'll try my best to answer it. And make sure to subscribe with the notifications bell on as your question might be in the next video. And also, you can connect with me on Instagram at jishk11 and now let's get right into it. Alright guys, so the first thing that you'll want to do is open up Word. I don't know, as stated earlier, this solution will work with any version of Word starting from 2013 and forward, including the Office 365 version. So now what you want to do is click on Open and click on Browse. And here you want to go where your PDF file is located and click on Open. And now Microsoft Word is going to prompt this message saying, Word will now convert your PDF to an editable Word document. This may take a while, and then the resulting Word document will be optimized to allow you to edit the text, so it may not look exactly like the original PDF, especially if the original file contained a lot of graphics. So I'll click OK. And now here, as you can see, the PDF file has been converted successfully into a Word document. Also, just edit normally. Alright, so now that I've made my changes, I'm just going to go here and save as I would normally save a Word document. And there we go. I have successfully converted a PDF document to a Word document. But do note guys, that certain files might not perfectly convert from PDF to Microsoft Word. This is because certain files are only meant to be displayed in PDF format, not in Microsoft Word or any other text format. And this is specifically for media files. Hence, you might not get the desired end product that you want. But if it does work for you, please let me know in the comment section below. I you know the solution to one of the most frequently asked questions on the internet. Congratulations! And if you found this video helpful, remember to hit that like button and tell me in the comment section below if you came across any problems. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that's it for this video. Check out my previous videos which are linked on screen, especially this one right here. And it's really good if you want to learn how to download applications on your older iOS devices. And see you guys in the next one.